How you going guys and welcome to the 15th episode of Practical Archery. Today we're going to discuss shooting without a bow hand glove or an arm guard and we're going to talk about talking the bow and katra. So the first thing is how to shoot an arrow using your hand as the arrow shelf and not having the arrow scrape your hand. The way to do this is to knock the arrow instead of being completely straight creating a 90 degree angle with the string in the arrow if you knock the arrow a little higher so the arrow is on a slight downward angle that will actually result in the arrow rising a little bit as it passes the bow stop I didn't feel the arrow touch my hand and what you'll also notice is my arm is slightly bent and I didn't strike my forearm with the string. With Olympic recurve archery you have a straight left arm and you can see right here that the bowstring is touching my forearm which means that when I release it's going to strike my forearm. Now the way I shoot traditional instead of grabbing the bow sort of straight on in my fist. I grab it slightly to the side, like this. So when I hold my arm out straight, the bowstring is away from my forearm. The arrow is knocked a few millimeters above my hand, which is acting as the arrow shelf. My hand is when I draw back, the string doesn't make contact with my forearm because of the way I've gripped the bow. This is what I do as opposed to gripping it straight on, like that. So what you might have noticed in my previous videos and in this video so far is that when I release I turn the string outwards. It's not so much of a turn than a flick. I'm flicking my wrist simultaneously as I release. This is called talking the bow and with Olympic recurve it's something you usually want to avoid as it will affect your shot process in a negative way. But with traditional shooting it actually helps you perform something known as a katra. Katra is an eastern term for any movement of the bow hand upon release of an arrow that helps the bow get out of the way of the arrow as it's released. When shooting off the right hand side of the bow, you would katra by flicking the bow outwards. When shooting off the left, you'd katra by flicking it inwards. Now, when you flick it inwards, you're making contact with your forearm, with the bowstring. You're going to get string slap. So one thing you can practice is a simultaneous downward motion of flicking the bowstring out to talk the, talk the bow away from you and then go down. Right hand side, left hand side. One great piece of advice that I learned recently while watching one of Armin Herma's videos, and if you haven't heard of Armin Herma, you should really check him out, is actually listening for whether or not a karcher was performed effectively or not. You'll hear that little, little, little clunk, it's a little flick. So that, that means that I didn't actually perform the karcher effectively. When the arrow is released, anytime you shoot the bow, when it's in full draw, the string has so much kinetic energy that as soon as it's released, and you need a slow motion camera to see this, as soon as it's released, during this whole process, the arrow is wobbling. You can't see it, but it's happening. And then the cartra, when it reaches the point when it's gonna pass the riser, the arrow actually wobbles into the riser. So what the cartra avoids is the inward motion of the wobbling arrow as it processes the connect it processes the energy being transferred from the bowstring into it and just gets it out of the way so that the arrow can then straighten up 
and carry a, a straight flight path. Now again, that's just how I do it so far. Um, it, the Kartra term encompasses any movement that you do. You'll see some people do arrow on the right hand side of the bow and they'll really throw the bow forward. So it's an umbrella term for any movement of the bow hand that helps the arrow leave the bow without colliding with the riser. You can learn to shoot accurately by compensating uh, for that sort of arrow contact upon release. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just another way of shooting. So shooting without Kartra, you can be accurate. You just compensate for that arrow knock and then shooting with Kartra, you're just learning to shoot without the contact of the arrow. I shoot 70 meters with a horse bow. I shoot it on the left hand side and I'm aiming like this and I take a lot of time to evaluate where I'm shooting and I almost always make contact on the left hand side of the bow and I'm pretty accurate at 70 meters so you can absolutely shoot without Kartra on a horse bow and you absolutely can. I am yet to really encounter any problems with not shooting, not using it when I shoot.